folks. Welcome to Smart Living. Right here today, I have Joe Ducey. If you guys don't know who he is, well, he used to work on ABC 15. He was an investigative reporter. We actually used to work together when we were young. Yeah. <laughs> we were young chickens. So he was, we were part of the <coughs> we uh, consumer team. He was the investigative guy, and I was the one that showed you ways to save money. Mm -hmm. Now, we somehow ended up at the Better Business Bureau, where you are basically like their spokesperson, right? Well, uh, not, you know, in a way. I mean, I guess I'm doing podcasts, and I'm doing the same kind of things I was doing before, I'm and that's basically... This. I can't see your face. All right. It's <laughs> basically um, trying to... Really, what we're doing, you know, with ABC 15, I was trying to keep people away from scams and bad right. business practices. I'm trying to do the same thing here by using accredited businesses, good businesses, uh, who work with the BBB to show consumers how to avoid bad practices and scams. So it's the same kind of thing, but but uh, trying to keep people away from losing their money, basically. Okay, well, that's yeah. good, because the Better Business Bureau is a great place yeah. for helping businesses and also consumers know they're doing business good. But the reason why we're here today mm -hmm. is because we were right before the election. It has dominated our entire world. My word, yeah. And we're over it, but I, as things... Yeah, I'm glued to it. My go. kids are still have all that in there, you know. As we go along, yeah. there is a lot of disinformation. I mean, we live in a very different world. Social media has consumed us. Uh, algorithms are the, the, I call that the vortex we live in. So all the things that you like are all the things you're going to get. Yeah. And so there is a whole other half of the world that you're not seeing what's going on. And the only way you're getting that is when you step outside of your house and you talk to people. Yeah. So a lot of fact checking needs to happen. So I asked you to come on the podcast today yeah. to share with us some ways that we can make sure that we're getting proper information to make that disinformation, factual information, and where to go to get that. You know, I, I think I think it's really hard. I really think it's hard. And I think it's going to become harder with AI taking you know, oh, yeah. over as much as it is because of all that information now that's it's just much more plentiful everywhere. And all these things are being said. You know, the way I, as an investigative reporter, the way I used to do things was um, check everything out. I had to go back. If this business was doing this and this, I had to look at contracts. I had to go onto websites. They say they're, they're unlicensed. Well, I don't know if they're unlicensed. I have to check. Let me see if they're unlicensed. Mm -hmm. So I go to the website for the AZROC. Check them out. Are they licensed? In many cases, people are still having to do that with a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of what they're hearing. A lot of what we're seeing now with this fact checking is political. Mm -hmm. And you know, you and I are going to get into a whole lot of politics here. No, we but, are not. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of it is that you see all these television stations have their own ABC 15 has scripts so verifying. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Channel 12 has whatever they do to verify whatever it is. The hard part is putting in what you want to know and then having an answer come up or them finding it for you particularly. Right. Like a, a great right. search, right? Right. I mean, you know, we were talking about Snopes, Snopes.com mm -hmm. uh, does that. Um, I mean, you can you can put in something and they usually have some kind of topic. They have a lifestyle section, they have uh, science, right? Uh, as well as politics. But a lot of what I'm seeing right now involves- It's only politics. Politics, like we were talking before, uh, we looked at factcheck.org, uh -huh. uh, PolitiFact. Um, Washington Post fact checker. All those are really political uh, sites. But it's hard also to, to put in, you know, I heard uh, this, you know, this. Uh, uh, I heard that Haitians were eating cats and dogs. How would you verify that? <laughs> well, we know that's true. Um, <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> in any well, way, it should that, That'll be taken out and put in the context. Like Joe Ducey thought that. <laughs> right, right. No, I totally. do not at all. Right. Uh, but like right. Snopes, let's real quick. I just, yeah. I, I want, I want to get too far ahead of ourselves. But Snopes is a great website that has existed mm -hmm. before the pandemic and before it felt like the world kind of became a little bit, you know, craziness. Mm -hmm. Because after the pandemic, like we got a lot of conspiracy theories going on here. So. Snopes has existed before that. I used to use it when I was a technology reporter. And so it covers all kinds of disinformation. Well, here's, what I, here's what I use it for. Taylor Swift declined Hurricane Benefit concert with Kid Rock, Jason Aldean, and Blake Shelton. Did <laughs> she? Did she? No. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't do that. It was all made up with some, some Facebook thing. So the cool thing is they go back, right? And they yeah. tell you the strand of like, where that may have come yes. from and how it was misquoted. Perfect. They give all... you the source and how, how the disinformation right. came about. So Snopes is a solid mm -hmm. website that has existed, I think, well into the 90s, 1990s, mm -hmm. if I'm correct, yeah. up until now. So this is a solid website that has existed. So Snopes is one that I highly recommend for people. One more funny one. Okay, and then go we'll ahead, go, go, ahead, go, right. go. Um, A person ate 75 pounds of prime rib at Golden Corral. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's true? No, it's false. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's false. I would actually believe because that. Because at the time they said that he was there, uh, Golden Corral was not serving prime rib. Got it. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you so, do it. So, you know what? I mean, we, we, I make fun of that, but it does. They do their facts. They they do what you can do. They go, I mean, they have other sources that right. are probably hard for all of us to get, but they can go back and look for those things, you uh -huh. know, like they were able to contact corporate and find uh -huh. out that they have the prime rib at that time or whatever it is. You know, in our cases, we may not have those resources, but we could still go online and find so many things that we couldn't mm -hmm. find before to find out if that's true. Where do you go? You know, and uh, and there are a number of places, just uh, uh, government websites. To uh, check government things. websites are another thing. You know, and, and getting on on politics also, besides like fact checking right. sites, if you're uncomfortable now, uh, factcheck.org. Usually, the dot orgs are usually considered to be unbiased because of nonprofit right. organizations. But yeah. again, we live in a different world now. Yeah. So some people pose to be legitimate, and they may not necessarily be. But another way to to do that, and not to get too much into politics, is check the in, if the individual has served um, in a public office and they have voted on anything, there is a public record of that. Right. And that speaks the truth of who that person really is fundamentally, because mm -hmm. you're seeing what they're voting for. So that's the thing. And I think that website is the Congress or um, uh, Congress.gov. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's an easy way to check those things. And you, and you can actually put in information you want to find out rather than just having to look at the articles they've already done. Right. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. you, that, that's better. Because a lot of these things... Um, you have to go over the things they've already checked and it may not be what you want to know. Exactly. You know, um, I was going to look up something here because my wife and I were talking about this. Uh, she knew it was coming in today and she said, we, we talked about, it's kind of, you think it's out here, but it's kind of like supplements. Uh -huh. Okay. And they say that they solve whatever problem it right. is. Well, how do you know? Exactly. How do you know? So um, I thought, well, you know, the FDA, as you know, FDA doesn't, approve all these supplements before they come out. They basically wait until there's a complaint to investigate. So mm -hmm. some of these supplements, you can always see at the bottom, there's an asterisk that says FDA has not said that this yep. is blah, 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 blah. So, you know, Prevagen, I'm not going to, let's not mention companies, I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, let's say place, uh, you know, brain um, memory, yes. um, heart issues, whatever it is. Who knows if they really have, well, there's a government website I'm trying to find. If you guys look it up, if you hear this, Look up government studies on supplements or government studies on whatever, because there's a website that, that will show tell, you who's been approved and who hasn't. It'll show you. It'll show you not even the approval, but it'll show you the studies they've done about that and what they found. Okay. So that's a government website, and if I can find it by the end of this, I'll give it to you. That's where, great. Where you can find out um, if you know Propecia actually does grow hair mm -hmm. and what they did in those studies to find that out. Right, or magnesium. Does this anti-aging cream actually work right. or remove fading spots? Right. Does, you know, all those things that the FDA doesn't really look at, um, you could find out that there were studies done and this is what they found. So I think that's the kind of stuff that we need to think more about, that we need to take an active approach in finding out whether something's true or not. Yes, you know? that's true. It's called critical thinking. It's called cr yeah, critical <laughs> yeah. thinking. When you think that something, just because, and I was, and I use this fundamentally. So when I, um, and I still use this to this day, whenever you are looking for a bargain on something, just because a retailer says, oh, the sale price is four ninety nine, yeah. that does not mean that it's a good deal. And I've always said, do your research. That's what you have to do. A simple, quick Google search and just like kind of look at different retailers and see if that's a good price. Yeah. You have to determine yourself if this is the truth yeah and for you. well like we you and i have always talked about um the prices at outlet stores mm -hmm. and are they really that good of a deal and you said you know they no, make, they're not they, they make, make it specific make it for specifically the so you can kind of find that out by finding you know what are they selling to say they're similar at the other uh -huh. place and then find out what those now is the problem is a lot of us don't think we have the time to do that. Right, I was going to say that. Yeah, and um, but you know, if you really want to get to the bottom of it, that's what you're going to have to do. You know, you're going to, have to take a lot of this on yourself because there aren't that many yet uh, sites. There's some, but there aren't that many sites yet that, that look at at everything. So you have to do a lot of the research yourself. And I think one of them is through through government websites, through counties. Uh -huh. um, and I think licensing is a part of that. I mean, if people have uh, issues with, you know, uh, a contractor, you know, oh, you hear they're not very good or they've done bad things. 
Look them up. Find the out if Better Business good Bureau things. is one. That's yeah. all they dedicate the company. They dedicate themselves yeah. to grading companies in your local your local community. I yeah. mean, this is the Better Business Bureau is another great kind of fact checking place to use in terms of how a business is conducting their business. Exactly. They, they'll tell you. In fact, the great thing about them, they don't take complaints down. So if there's a complaint against a business, it will be there that you can you can actually see on what is going on. But a lot of people, you know, we hear that like, oh, I heard they don't do that well, or I heard you know well. You know, it's one thing. And then but the problem with a lot of us is we pass that on to somebody else. Oh, well, somebody told me they don't do very well. Right. Well, maybe we should stop it and look it up ourselves. Right. You know? Yeah. Do they have a suspended license? Do they not? I looked them up. I found out that they're fine. There's, they have an A or whatever. And right. they have no problems with the Better Business Bureau. Right, right. So whatever it is. But. So, again, I love that. So there is no one mm -hmm. site that cures it all. Right. But there are many sites, depending on what it is that you're looking for, where you can find out that information, right? Right, and we went over a few of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. Snopes, uh, PoliticFact, um, and then there's uh, factcheck.org. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you if you Google and you find a .gov or a .org that has fact checks, and I think those are probably, yeah. yeah. The .coms, I think I'd stay away from right now just because I don't really know, unless you know something about it, because clicking on these sites, there are a lot of sound-alike sites, and if they see a lot of traffic going to it, they're gonna sound like it so they can mm -hmm. you know, maybe try to scam you. Um, I'm always really concerned about those. Things. Yeah, and there's also so, ranking too. So yeah. the more popular ones that are viewed are the ones that are going to be um, come up in the ranking on Google too. So yeah. be careful with that. But yeah. I love that. I love how you said so. I want to repeat this one more time. If you're doing some fact checking, maybe question the dot coms, but dot orgs and dot govs, when the website addresses end with those, those are usually either unbiased or government sites, yep. right? So yep. that's a great way of breaking that down, Joe. Yeah, good. So, um, okay, anything else you want to add as we get closer to, you know, I know we're talking in general disinformation, but the reason why I've asked you to come in is because we were just, what, less than two, almost two weeks away from this election. So who are you going to vote for? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to. Well, here's what I'm going to, here's how You're I'm going to. You're not going to tell me. You know what, here's what I'm going to answer that. <laughs> yeah. You know, being a journalist, it's uncomfortable, yeah. but what I'm going to tell you who I am fundamentally as a person, yeah. I'm always going to choose the side that gives me more options. There you go. So I am not ever going to choose something where I feel like if I choose this side, mm -hmm. I'm going to have less options. Yeah. I'm always going to choose the sides with more options because being a woman and being a black woman in this country, mm -hmm. I view this world, I only want freedom. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 I get it. I get that. Um, and you know what's interesting? Both of us haven't been in the media. Um, I think that over the last few years, it's been a real, it's been real tough for um, journalists oh, to yeah. tell stories because you present both sides. Yep. They say this, they say this. Well, if somebody happens to say something that just, you know, is kind of out there or whatever, but either side, you kind of, journalists, were, we were basically saying blah, 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 but they say, you know, la, 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 which is kind of way out there. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't a whole lot of fact checking on that because mm -hmm. it was their side. So mm -hmm. we're 50, 50 and we're fair. Right. It took a while, I think, for us to kind of get in and say, let's fact check what's being said here, yeah. you know, to make sure that, that we're not just saying they say this and they say this and that's it. In other words, that we're presenting this as a legitimate right. argument, saying, right. and it's not. Not right, and that's well, what not changed true. a lot of things that in our society. That changed a lot, yeah. And yes. I think journalists have finally kind of figured out a way, even though there's but it did a lot of grief harm. for the person who's getting fact checked, saying, "Well, they might fact check me and not the other person," right. you know. But but I, if you're lying, I think they're everybody's right. getting it, and I think it's a great thing because yes. yeah, integrity mm -hmm. is everything. I've always raised my child yeah. to have integrity yeah. and to speak the truth. And if you lied and you you need to correct that and you need to speak the truth and there are consequences to one person's actions, yeah. those fundamentally as a human being will never change. Yeah. And I shall never want to be led by somebody who thinks any differently. Well, okay, let me ask you a question. So who are you voting for? Yeah. <laughs> yes, me. Well, as a white man in America. <laughs> We'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Well, listen, I'm going to wrap this up because I think we're just about yeah. done. I mean, we got all the information yeah. that we needed to. Yeah. Okay, great. Good. Hey, if you guys want to check out Joe's stuff, he's at the BBB. Where can people find you? Because you do some great podcasts. JoeKnowsBetter.com. Okay, JoeKnowsBetter.com. JoeKnowsBetter.com. Okay. Used to be like Joe Know, now it's Joe Knows Better. Okay, so, that's great. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Joe's doing some great content out there. The only difference is he doesn't have the TV station uh, locally to funnel it. So you have to go to the website or the yeah. YouTube, YouTube channel. But it's great content he's putting out there to protect consumers. And if Thank you want to find out all the sites and all the information that we talked about, just head over to my blog, which is smartshopperdaphne.com. And if you're wondering who I am, well, don't forget, I'm Daphne Monroe.
your smart shopper. Have a great day, guys.